Hello guys, today we're going to talk about the SIG thermal camera, okay, which is this one. This is a very convenient and inexpensive compared to the Quan Lee one. Uh, I'm going to show you the setup, how I did it. This is a base a micro, uh, from the microscope, okay, this base is, uh, you don't need this kind of base. I have it already, so that's why I'm using it, but I'm going to show you an inexpensive way to do a setup similar to this one. Okay, what you need is, let me remove this from here. You are going to need the Therma Camera SIG, which is this one here. Okay, this is the Therma Camera SIG, and you need this macro lens, okay? You see it's a little bit tight. Yeah, okay. This is the macro lens, okay? This is going to allow you to see the board if you it's going to zoom the, the image for, for you okay so this is very recommendable because if you don't use this you are going to be able to see the whole board but using the micro lens is going to be more precise you're going to be able to see pretty much the capacitor which is the one that is bad so put it back other thing that i have here is this is an extension extension adapter that is coming is going from the C camera to the tablet. In this case, I have an iPad here, okay, because that's the one that I had. And, uh, this is from a customer that I believe he didn't he didn't uh, came to pick it up after a couple months. So let me show you what else I have here. This is the extension. An extra thing that I have. This is a this is an adapter to mount that I used to mount on the bicycle. This one here, that I'm going to lay you the link. And this is, a, this is a tripod, okay? I'm going to show you everything there. This is a very uh, useful tool. SIG Thermal Camera is very useful. We have more options now, which is the Quan Lee one, but it's like $900. It's set up like this. This is more expensive because it's the base, but I'm going to show you a setup that is like 280. So, uh, right now, I'm just going to show you all the links on eBay and Amazon where you can buy all this. And then I'm going to show you a video from uh, Gabriel. He, he's, he has a store in New Jersey. He just did a video for me because he did an, another setup which is cheaper and based on this one. And he was so kindly to give to do a video for me so I can add it on my YouTube. Okay, let's see. This is what uh, this is what I'm talking about. This is the SIG camera. The SIG camera. This is if you have an any iPhone or iPad. This is the one that you need. It's around $170. If you are going to use any Android, this is the one that you need. It's around 185, 86. Okay. The macro lens that you need. This is the macro lens. It's $75. This is the different. If you don't have the macro lens, it's going to look like this. If you have the micro lens, it's going to be like, like this image, which is, you will see it's very, very good. I've been mean, using this for, for a couple of years, and it's working very good for me, okay? The extension cable, as you see, is lining male to female extender cable. It's around $3. This is what you need, and you have to decide which size is the one you're looking for, okay? Uh, you can use this one, you can use this base, okay? If you use that base, you will see it's like around $23. Oh, this is, this is something similar that I have, but the one that I have is this one. I bought this part, which is the stand for microphones, motorcycle bikes, Music stand. I bought this, so I put it on the on the microscope uh, base, and I this is the tripod that I bought in order to hold the iPad. Okay, it's around ten dollars. See here. Okay, so this is for the setup I have. Now I'm going to put Gabriel's video, and then I'm going to show you his setup. Okay.
Hello everyone, my name is Gabriel from Precision Repair NJ. Um, I just wanted to make this small video to show you my thermal camera seek uh, setup. Um, I got the idea of the setup from a fellow friend. Uh, his name is Armando from STG Repairs. Um, a lot of you may know who he is or have heard of him. Uh, very good uh, instructor, very good friend, uh, one of the best in the micro soldering industries. Um, so I got the idea from him. Just put a little, a little of my own twist and uh, to the stands and so on. Um, so yeah, here it is. Um, I have here a platform that I got off of eBay. Uh, I bought this. I think it was twelve ten dollars. I don't remember. Uh, I was around that price. So let's say twelve dollars. Uh, it's a very small stand. It's not that big. I have an iPhone six screen. Uh, as you can see here, it's actually smaller than the iPhone 6 screen. Uh, so, just so you have a comparison and you could kind of get an idea of how small it is, grab an iPhone 6 <coughs> and pretend it's about the size of the actual LCD without the uh, glass frame. If that helps you understand it better. Uh, this is a microscope stand. If you search it up on Google... Uh, I mean, excuse me, on eBay, you'll find it. Um, this one is the Super Eyes. I guess that's the brand of it. Uh, it goes up and down just like a microscope. It has the knob on the side. Um, and yeah, that's that. Um, I used a 3M tape on the bottom to glue down and stick the uh, thermal camera. I also have a macro lens that I bought off eBay as well. I believe, excuse me, I believe that camera is about 60 to $70 more or less. Um, the recommendation was from a friend, Armando, from STG. He recommended that lens to go along with your Seek. So I did just what he said, and it works perfect. Um, I also have the uh, adapter that I bought here. I bought two adapters. As you can see, I have one black here and one white. Uh, I bought this one, but it is very short. It's about an inch. Um, so it's too short. It won't give me the length that I need. Um, so I bought another one. Just a mistake on my behalf. So when you buy the extender, make sure it's long enough. I don't know how big, how of a length you're putting your station or your setup. Uh, just make sure it's long enough <coughs> Excuse me um, So that's that As you can see um, With that you just connect it One side to the phone The other to the seat camera <clears throat> Oh man Alright You connect that And your thermal camera is up and running As you can see there you can see my nail, my finger. Um, and then the phone, I'm attaching it. As you can see, I have rubber bands here. Because there's actually a selfie stick that I attach to the stand. Now, here's a small little problem that I have. Is that when I bring the uh, stand, so scope down the camera, it's interfering with the rubber band. Of course, kind of obvious right um so i need to find a way to connect this selfie stick to the back of this stand without rubber bands or anything interfering the track for it to go up and down i can glue the selfie stick down to the stand that might be an option uh option that i'm looking at now if you look at the bottom of the stand it has a screw that holds so the platform to the stand. If you look at the bottom of the selfie stick, there is a hole underneath the selfie stick. I'm planning to make another hole, drill a hole into this piece of a uh, metal aluminum platform and putting a screw to hold the selfie stick right next to it. I think that would be one of my great ideas I think a great idea for this, actually. 
Um, and that's about it. That's pretty much your platform there. Um, this is my setup for my camera seek thermal camera. Um, I hope they helped you guys, and um, I hope you guys can make your own. Very easy. Uh, this is an old phone that I had laying around. Um, so you can actually just the whole setup for about 300 or 250. A lot of people ask, you know, is the quality better? I'm sure it is. Price tag is about $900, $800. Uh, whether I got this whole setup for maybe 250, 300 at that at the most. Um, so I hope this video was helpful to everyone. And I hope everyone learned. We're all learning. It's all a learning process. And um, hope it helped. Thank you, guys. Have a Okay. As you can see, Gabriel did this setup with this. He's using this base. You can use this base around $12. Or you can also use this base. This is aluminum. It's $17. Any, either one is, is good. Uh, he also used the thermal camera that I already, already, we already saw that. And he used two cables, but he was, he could use only one. He, he has two because by mistake he ordered a small one, but you can only use one and send it from the thermal camera to the cell phone. Okay, and the other, the, the interesting thing that he did is he used a self stick no, it's not exactly this one. He uses a smaller one. But the most important thing that you have to see is you see the, the hole for the, to put a screw there. He, this hole is very important because he opened a hole on the base and screw the, the a stick to the base, okay? So if you can find something like that, it's going to be around like two, three, five dollars, okay? This setup, as you can see, is let's say if it's this one 170 plus uh, let's say 80 that's oh see yeah, 80 that's 250 255 and let's say if you 255 plus five dollars of the no 255 plus 12 dollars 267 and the self stick, let's say it's like $5, it's like $272, So the full setup that Gabriel did is around $280, okay? This is very good setup. He, re he did a very good job on this. And I believe any, uh, this is, is going to be more affordable than having the Quan Li uh, thermal camera, okay? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And we will continue next time.